So when this deal was announced, Steve Dangle was visibly upset and frustrated and hit the wall. No, uh, he hit the floor. I, or he hit the floor. He, he put the floor. a dent in our hardwood uh, at our new building. It's I, brought, I'm losing my voice, so I'm trying not to scream. So don't don't forget, it's brought to you by Sports Interaction. Get in on the action, which the Leafs have not, with Sports Interaction. Maybe they should call <laughs> Sports Interaction. Uh, sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. Now, uh, here's the deal. Three years, $2 million per. Nola Chari reunites with Kyle Dubas in Pittsburgh. What a great pickup for the Pittsburgh Penguins. I mean, he's he's what this team needs. He's what every team needs. Um, I'm trying to look it up right now. I believe he led the playoffs in hits heading into the Stanley Cup final. The Leafs notably did not make the third round. I mean, they barely made the second round when you really look back on it. Um, three years is good. Two mil is good on a day where a lot of bad deals get signed and that's every free agency. That's Kyle Dubas doing uh, pretty good work. And I, you know, free agency was a strength of his in Toronto um, finding bargain deals. It was just usually with players who are historically underappreciated. And I don't think that's who Noel Achari no, is. No, I think everybody very much fully appreciates what Noel Achari brings. And I think the, he's going to fit in well with a veteran group in Pittsburgh that that needed a little bit more toughness. They just they just got pushed around, which is surprising considering that running the team last year it was Brian Burke and Ron Hextall, two of the hottest guys out there who were, you know, just snap at you. But they didn't really have that urge to them. It was Dubas who got them Achari. Yeah. I got your hit stats. What do so you got? He finished the playoffs fourth in hits. He had 78. Uh, ahead of in was Keegan Colasar, Sam Bennett, and Radko Gudis, who finished with 91. All so of those players played in the final. Yeah, so he would have been uh, right up there by the time the Leafs got eliminated. Who was the closest player to not make the final? Uh, Hawk and Paw. And, and 65. 65, and yeah. Chari had? 78. <laughs> oh, my God. I will miss mm -hmm. him. And Hawk and Paw went an extra round. You know, he, yes, they, he they went to the third round. So, yeah, great hit stats from Noel Achari that will no longer belong to the Toronto Maple Leafs. And what do the Leafs do now? So, <laughs> it's okay. I know, I know Penn's fans are going to make this about the Leafs, but oh, it's about it's, the Leafs because he left. It's highly relevant to the Leafs because what was the line that they put together that essentially helped get them over the hump against Tampa? They put together a line of three newcomers, mm -hmm. Ryan O'Reilly, Noel Achari, and uh, Matthew Nice. The oh, dude who, heading into that series, the dude who played the most games as a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs was Noel Achari, I'm pretty sure, uh, because Ryan O'Reilly had the injury. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly, Noel Achari, and Matthew Nice. Here's the depth chart for the Leafs as I have it right now. Right now, at this time of day, mm -hmm. do you want me to do this? No, I think you should wait. You want to? You want to do a whole thing on this? I thing. want you to do the whole. Okay, do you want to do it right Can now? I do their bottom six. Okay, time, yeah, time no, stamp it. Then. Do the Nola Charlie Chari relevant info? Yeah, because I want this is a good do video. That guy. Line. Okay, no, 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 um, uh, listen, if there's a, uh, if there's a word I have for you, Pittsburgh Penguins fans as a Leaf fan, jealousy. Mm -hmm. I love Nolachari. Love what he brings. Good for you. That's a great pickup. And, uh, man, <laughs> you, you could just see him ending up with like, imagine having to play him and like Gino Malkin on the same line. Yeah. And is this another string in Dubis takes X Leafs? Cause we have, we have one Leaf signing. It's not to the, it's not to the Penguins. It's to the Devils. Steve, if you want to read it out. Uh, ex Leaf sign. Eric Shelgren went to the Devils. Oh, the yeah. sorry. I misread it. I thought it said Dallas. That's why I was confused. Oh, no. no. My, my bad. Yeah. Eric Shelgren to uh, the Devils. So, one year, 770. There's another Leaf out the door. But is is Kyle Dubas going to pick up more Leafs? Do you think? And there's a fresh Alex Kerfoot. It's still on the market. You could use versatility in your forwards for a good price. I sure hope he does. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> I sure hope Dubas does. For all of us. Kicking Kerfoot out the door. Take a look at that third line I just mentioned, and uh, I don't know. Maybe they could use him. Well, congratulations to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Congratulations to Nola Chari. And by the way, when the cap goes up four million next year and four million the year after, that is going to be just a oh. little blip. He's a useful player. That's a great contract. Center for Pittsburgh. wing. Oh, everything.